striker Nguyen Cong Phuong, I strive for the face of Vietnamese football. Before the start of J. League 2023, Cong Phuong had a talk with the Japanese media and the press representative of Vietnam, Football Magazine. In response to a question from a football reporter, Cong Phuong affirmed that he made efforts when going abroad not only for his career but also for the face of Vietnamese football. For the last time abroad Seven years ago, Cong Phuong went abroad for the first time in her life. At that time, he joined Japanese club Mito Hollyhock on loan. After seven years, Kong Fuang returned to Japan when he joined Yokohama FC, with a historic contract lasting up to three years. For Kong Fuang, this could be the last time abroad in his career. He reminisced about seven years ago and compared it with the present, I was only 21 years old then, a milestone that started my professional football career. At that time, I was energetic, eager to contribute but did not have much experience. Now, I have both experience and desire to contribute. Over the past seven years, I have played many matches at the continental level. I have competed with the Vietnam national team against the top Asian teams such as Japan, Korea, West Asian teams. At the club level, I also played with HAGL last year in the AFC Champions League and met strong clubs such as Yokohama F. Marinos, Jeonbuk, Sydney FC. Kong Fuang confided, I think at the moment, I am reaching the maturity of my career. I will enjoy this precious time. Because I think in the future, I will hardly have such a valuable opportunity again. Going to Yokohama FC may be the last time that I can play in a more classy football environment than Vietnam. When asked by a football reporter about the pressure of going abroad, Kong Fuang was confident, I am no longer a young player to be afraid and worried. I want to experience and compete with all my might. The next three years will be the ideal time for me to perform at my best. I always fight not only for myself but also for Vietnamese football. I think I work hard not only for my personal career but also for the face of the country's football. Southeast Asian players need to go to Japan more. Kong Fuang confided, before coming to Japan, I had a video call with Janathip Songkrasen. I am very happy to talk with him. It was a private call between me and Janathip so I can't share it. When we meet on the pitch, I think it will be an interesting, watchable match between Yokohama FC and Janathip's Kawasaki Frontale. I have not had the opportunity to speak with another Thai player who plays in Japan, Supakak. I just had the opportunity to meet him when Vietnam played Thailand. He made the point, when a player comes from a low-level football background to a higher level, his ability develops very quickly. I take Japanese football as an example. Obviously there is a big gap in the J. League and European leagues. And so, Japanese players go to Europe a lot. When we focus on the national team, we also see that Japan has many players playing abroad. That's why the Japanese team is even stronger. In addition, the competition of Japanese players playing football in Europe is also very harsh. Particularly at St. Trudens, the Belgian team that I played for, there were five to six Japanese players but only one of them was called up to the Japanese national team. The large number and competitiveness helped the Japanese team become stronger and stronger.